take you out a bit. Look the other way. The other end. Alright, there we go. It's Kathy Ryan here in Bundaberg, Queensland. And I am going to do a Dutch pour. You can see some marks on my right. That was because I put my spatula down and it went into a bit of wet paint here from a previous pour. But since I'm going to be blowing it left, right and centre, I thought, well, you know, I don't want to be wasting too much paint. So I'm just going to leave it. And I'm hoping that this will come up very nicely. The pink and the silver are both metallics. A little bit of black. And a bit of yellow, I think. We'll see how this goes, eh? Some white around. got plenty of colour so if this turns out ugly well, I can put more on and make a swipe. So here we go with the noise people. this because I can see a lot a lot of bubbles. Where did I put you? There you are. take it across there and some white
that did not make me happy. Look what I did. Total grub. again. There's some paint. Here, get on there. Goodness. Alright. So, you know, I don't like that. So, yep. I'm going to swipe it. So I need a, a knife to do this. Underneath show more at the bottom of this video, uh, you will find um, the recipe for the pouring medium and all the paints that I use. You'll also find the name there of this uh, new product I'm using for the cells and it's um, working out in my opinion better than the OCG so um, it's called L5 by L'Oreal um, Extraordinary Oil and it's uh, <laughs> it is it's extraordinary the cells are just prolific. Very happy. That was on special too. I went to buy some OCG, but it wasn't on special, and I, I thought, no, I'm not. And then I looked at this, and it had the same, or well, basically the same ingredients. So I thought it was kind of cute because it was one bottle for twenty dollars Australian. Or two bottles for twenty dollars. So guess what I bought? Yep. And uh, I thought, well, if it's no good, I can always use it on my hair. So a little bit of black. Too much paint here, I know. But having said that, I am uh, in the throes of making lots of beautiful cards to sell. So. If you're interested in purchasing any of my cards um, and the picture, the paintings and that that are on them are all um, originals. There's no, uh, I don't have any um, photocopies of any of them. So they're all, yeah, I like this. This is going to be pretty. And some white for the swipe, I think. Anyway, the link to my um, email address is underneath Show More as well. So if you're interested in purchasing any of my cards, just uh, give me a tinkle and, and I can send you some photos and. Uh, all of that business. Alright, that's too big. Where's my scissors? Do I have scissors here? I did have. No, alright. I'll just have to cut it later. So here we go, one swipe coming up.
next door's got the, some gardening going on over there and they have some sort of machinery going. And my dog thinks that she needs to protect me from it. Hence the barking. Oh, that does look nice, doesn't it? Alright, so I'm going to torch this and see what we have. demarcation this is where I like to play that a little bit to me and move it around so you can see what I'm doing. Too much paint on there. This paint that I'm tilting off just goes onto my cards. That's what I use to make the cards so it's not wasted in any way. Oh this is so pretty. Underneath Show More, you'll find a link to my Facebook group, which is Australia Art Dreaming. More than welcome to come and join us. You'll also find a link there to um, Fine Arts America, which is where I keep some of my things. And there's also a link there to Priscilla Betzel's Amazon, which is where you will find her amazing book. pretty, that one there in particular. Okay, I'll just wipe my hands and uh, check this one out. I've gotten rid of a lot of the paint which is good, there was too much on there. That's really, really pretty. I'm going to torch it again just to uh, make sure I've got all the bubbles out. And um, in a minute. <laughs> and I think I'll just call this one done because it's really pretty. I don't know if I can make this any more pretty. Be a bit of yellow there. Didn't need to dribble. Okay. All right. So I'll just give it another quick torch. to have it around this is the way it's going to hang this way so I hope I've got that lined up okay let me see if I have so you can see what I can see yes does that not look like the beach at sunset so Having said that, where are you? 
Uh, have I got any more purple left? Ooh, just a little bit. Sunset, hey, and some pink. look nice. So I'll just wipe my hands off and I'll bring you down to have a look at this. It's really pretty. Here out. Out, the other out. Right. And that's uh, as you saw. But once we get down closer here, it really does look like the beach at sunset. I think it's lovely over the rocks and yes I think what I actually need to do is make up a bit of yellow which is what I'm going to do so then I'll come back and show you what I do I'm going to put a bit of a sun up there you know just sort of sinking in oh that's so pretty all right well I'll just uh, go and make some paint up and I'll be back in a second Okay, here I am back again and I have the paint ready and my spatula for making my sky a little less watery and just bringing that across like that. Right, I'm quite happy with that. And I think my son can just go here. Little fiery sun. right into the water well it appears to be Not a very good sun, I'm afraid. I've got too much paint on me. Okay. Let's 
start again. to my eyes. Right. So now I'll turn it around so you can see. I'm pretty sure I've got all the edges done. Just wipe my hands. And bring you down. So there's the remake. I think that's really nice. Lots of cells and lines and little bits of lace and a nice powdery sky. Show you the sky. Yes. Well, thank you very much for watching and staying to the end. Please give this video the thumbs up and I'm really glad the Dutch pour didn't work because I like this much better. Thank you again.